This tutorial explains how to reproduce and fix the warning message an ACE introduced by coercion using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the vector object that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing which is called vec. And we can print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that our vector object contains 6 elements. These elements are formatted as a character. And you can also see that some of the numbers in these character strings contain commas in between. So let's assume that we want to convert these numbers from the character class to numeric. Then we might apply the sNumeric function as you can see in line 5 of the code. And in this case I'm simply applying the sNumeric function to our vector object. However, if you run this line of code you can see at the bottom that some output is created. However, at some positions in this output our numbers have been converted to an A. And the RStudio console also returns the warning message an A is introduced by coercion. And the reason for that is that the numbers in the third position and in the sixth position are not formatted properly because of the comma in between. So if you want to convert a number in our studio to the numeric class, no commas should be contained in the character string. So if you want to change that, we can apply the g sub function, as you can see in line 7 of the code. And within the gsub function I'm specifying that I want to replace the comma values in our data object by nothing. So in other words I'm deleting the commas from our character strings. And then I'm storing the output of the gsub function in a new vector object which is called vecnew. So if you run line 7 of the code you can see that a new data object is appearing at the top right which is called vecnew. And we can print this new vector object to the RStudio console by running line 8. And then you can see that our new vector contains the same numbers. However, we have removed the commas in the numbers at the elements 3 and 6. So now in the next step we can apply the sNumeric function once again to our new vector object as you can see in line 10 of the code. And then you can see that our output is properly showing our numbers as numeric values and no warning message is returned anymore. So in this example I have explained how to format your numbers properly to convert them to the numeric class and this is usually the approach that you should use. However, another alternative to this is that you are simply suppressing the warning message as you can see in line 12 of the code. So if you run line 12 of the code you can see that another output is returned without a warning message. You can also see that the third element and the sixth element is shown as an A value because these numbers are not formatted properly. However, this could also be an alternative in case you are dealing with elements in your vector object that should be converted to an A. So with the suppress warnings function you can return an output without showing the warning message an ACE introduced by coercion. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.